What is going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and I got some exciting news. I've got HTPLA from Polymaker. They're a new high temp film that you've probably heard about. They just came out with and we're going to get into it right after this. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, I'm in Las Vegas, the one in Nevada where all the casinos are, and it gets really hot here. Right now, it's currently 110 degrees out, and in my room here, it's like 18% humidity. Humidity is really low. Yes, dry heat. But Polymaker came out with a new HTPLA. They've got the glass field, which was out when I tried to get, order some, but then I have their standard HTPLA, and I have a gradient tropical. I have a green, a red, and what's this one called? Gradient Rainbow. Let's open them up, take a look. I'm going to give you a close-up of all them. And I want to print some really cool stuff that's going to go outside, for the most part. Um, that's, you know, ABS, PETG, they're heat tolerant to a certain degree. The new HCPLA is supposed to be great. So I figured let's do some birdhouses. Let's hang them up, maybe on the side of the house, maybe in the trees. They'll get a lot of heat, hopefully not too much direct sunlight, and maybe a cup holder or two for my truck. Let's put some things in the truck, maybe the car, and see how they hold up. Because if it's 110 out right now in my truck, I can get a temperature gauge and check it. It's probably 130 in the truck, maybe even hotter. And I got shades in the window, but yeah, it gets really hot inside vehicles. So uh, let's uh, do a close-up, and we'll start printing. We're going to be printing on the bamboo one today, the X1 Carbon, so let's get going. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got here. Start with the green, get a close-up on it. Recommend, recommended drawing time on the front here. We'll say 60C for six hours. Bed temp 25 to 60. Printing temp 210 to 230. And print speed up to 300 millimeters a second. And this is their green. Okay. We will be working with that one right away. My wife found a birdhouse she really likes, so we're going to work on that first. Okay, here's her red HCPLA. Looks very cool. And this one is her gradient tropical. Desiccant inside of it there. Now see it through the window there, see what's going on with the colors. Looks really nice. And then the last one here. This is called the Gradient Rainbow. And if you look through the window there, you can see all the different colors that are in it. Very beautiful. This is probably my favorite out of all of them here so far. Well, let's load some stuff up in Bamboo Studio and get to printing. Alrighty, here we go, and we've got them all glued together. Man, do these look amazing. Check out these colors. The HTPLA, done an amazing job. Came out really good. Let's see what we got here. First off, we have a cup holder for my truck. See how I can withstand the heat. I printed this twice. The first time I didn't have any supports on it, and I had a lot of stringing right around here. So then I went ahead and I put uh, organic supports on it, as you've seen in the clip, and then I removed them from the bottom and around the base, around the side. We'll see how this goes in the fits in the truck. And like I say, in the summertime, the truck will be 130, 140, 150 degrees. We'll see how well this holds up over time. And it's got a slot here we can put a coffee bug. So we're going to put that in the truck. And then we have a nice birdhouse here, log cabin. I don't remember if this is off printables or maker world. But it's all glued together. I used some super glue on it. 
and on some of the parts I use loop. And it has a little clip here. You take out the clip, you pull out the rod right there underneath, and then the roof will come off. This one has a very small hole for a bird. Not really sure what's going to fit in there, whether it be a hummingbird or a very tiny sparrow. But other than that, it's pretty well buttoned up. It has a bracket that I'm going to attach to a post out back. I'm either going to put this on one of my two patio covers or I'll put it on my gazebo. That I'll find out here in a little bit where I'm going to mount this at. So, and then it simply slides on once you got it mounted. Mount it, slide the birdhouse on it, and then that one's good to go. But the colors are beautiful. I just hope they hold up to the heat here in Vegas. And then we have this double-decker birdhouse here. Now this one, it has a place for uh, just for appearances where you would hang a string. Well, it's not going to support all the weight. This is super glued together. The roof is super glued on. Over time, that the weight would break. That would pull. That would pull that apart. So we're just going to call that hole a decoration. And the railings and stop is uh, glued down. The perch is glued in with super glue. The windows are snapped inside. They simply press in. Um, the trim around the door that's been super glued on. And the second floor here, and I glued it. It has four dowels. I put gloop and super glue on the four dowels. And then all these little decorations here that help support the second floor. Those are all glued in with super glue. But this will be perfect for a bird. You know, to simply get in the front here, land on the perch, go through the window, or go through the top hole. So hopefully it'll get some use. And as you can see, we have the two different colors here. Let's see, one of them would be the gradient tropical, and the other half would be the gradient rainbow. I don't remember which was which. I'd have to go through the spools, but they're both beautiful. Came out amazing. And then on the third one here, this printed laying on its back. One piece, but one corner lifted up on the build plate right here. This is on the rear of the X1 Carbon. The door was up here in the front. And as you can see, it lifted right there. See the texture don't match at one area where it lifted? Right there. It's not that bad. But if this would have been an original design or something I was selling, obviously they're a Christmas present. I'd have to redo that. I don't like that. But once it's mounted, she has a hook there where you can put a nail on a wall. And simply hook it once that's hooked and mounted you don't you won't notice it'll be perfectly fine it's got room for the birdies to go in on the top floor or the down below there and make a little nest here's some of the material here from the organic supports i thought that was real pretty you guys might like checking that out looks really cool save that maybe use it for something else and then we have these amazing butterflies and I'm going to put these right outside of the front door. We have other decorations on the wall. And this is kind of blended into the two different colors here on the first two. And then the second, we have the red and the green, which obviously are the same. And just depending on which side you want the flowers on, you just flip it over and, you know, mount it whichever way you want. But those came out amazing. Here's what I have left over on the filament for now. This is... See, this one is the gradient rainbow. I have just a tiny bit of that left, and then I've got about a half a spool of green and a little over half a spool of red. But we need to go out front, get all these hung up uh, out front, out back, and we'll take some pictures and see how they do. But like I say, it'll we'll have to see over time, uh, over the summer, over the next couple weeks, how these do in the weather with the heat here in Vegas right now. I think today it's like 85 out. A few days ago it was like 108. And like I say, this is June currently. It drilled dry heat in Vegas, but it'll get up to 120 at some point, July and August. We'll see how everything does. So thank you for all my channel subscribers, channel members, um, channel supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, but this, yeah, Polymaker Rocks. They're always coming out with new amazing stuff. There's plenty out there to print in the world. Or you can design your own things. But yeah, make all the things. Have fun. And uh, and we're going to jump outside, get all these hung up, and then we'll get going here. Okay, here I got two of the birdhouses put up on my back patio. Now this is facing the west. So they're going to get 
the evening sun. When it falls back, you'll see that air conditioner on the house behind me. As it falls, it's gonna, you know, part of it's gonna be in the sun. Part of it, like you see, it's getting direct sunlight right now. So we're gonna see how well that holds up to UV, how bad it gets burnt. But even my jacuzzi, which is designed to be out in the sun, the weather, the sun burns it. So we'll see how it does. I got this screwed in right here and the bird also slipped down on top of it. And then the other one, there's another one I have right here. Here's the second one. It's mounted on the hook on the back and then I put a little hole in the middle and ran a screw in. So that's good to go. And then a double decker, I'm gonna put that out front. Okay, and a third one here I mounted in my gazebo. So that way it will be shaded and protected from the elements basically. It's an open air, but it won't have any direct sunlight on it. It'll just have heat. So I uh, put two screws in the base of it, one on each side going into the beam. And then that little hook on the top, which I said you could hang from it, but it wouldn't hold very well. I put one in there to back it up. And I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about any cats getting up there and getting to it. But anyway, then I got dogs that patrol the yard. So we'll see what happens if we get any birds in it. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. The cup holder is in the truck. Today was only like 89 degrees, 89, 90 degrees, so it's not that warm today. But once, you know, with any vehicle, once it's sealed up and you got the windows rolled up and, you know, you're not, it's just things bake inside a vehicle and get hot. So we're going to see how well the cup holder does. Up, does. We have the butterflies. They're in the garage. I need to figure out where I'm going to hang them. I might put them on the back of my house. Out right outside where the birdhouses are and put them on one of my walls they might go out front but then that's stucco so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna attach them but they are in the garage the garage is insulated there's no air conditioner out there so i still have to hang the butterflies so we're going to see how it works out and you know, like i said it gets really hot here in vegas so we're going to see how the film it does polymaker us will be linked down below you know go to polymaker.com check out their filament they got so many amazing kinds of filament and this hcpla it printed really nice I think I had a maximum carbon. I think I had polyterra is the last thing I used in it. I left the same setting, printed just fine. No problems whatsoever printing with it. And we'll just have to see how it does as far as temperature. A lot of times when things are outside, I print with ABS or PETG. Like my CNC I used to have out in the garage where there's heat, I printed all the parts out of PETG. And now we have ASA, it's out. So my alternative ABS is using ASA, but now they have the HTPLA and then they've got the glass filled which, as you know, they were out of stock and I wasn't able to get. But they're making more. There's going to be more for you to choose from. So please go check out Polymaker. Like, subscribe, and share it. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, you have a great day, everybody. Oh, yeah. And I'll let you know what happens with this PLA. Give it a few days, HC PLA outside, and we'll see if the bird houses sag, if they start to burn. I'll get back with you with an update video and let you know how things are going. So until next time, everybody have a great day. Thank you.